Hi guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So I have never done this type of video before. So this is basically going to be a video about some of my most worn items from this springtime as well as some of my favorite items that I've currently been rocking on my Instagram as well as in my style video. You guys will have definitely seen these in my How I Style series as well as just daily on my Instagram and my Snapchat. But I figured it may be helpful for you guys to see them all together in one place and I can go into a little bit more uh, depth on why I love these pieces and how I like to wear them on a day-to-day -day basis. So I am just going to dive right in. I have a lot of my favorite things here to show you guys and I can't wait to share them with you. So without further ado, I am just going to get started. So the first thing that I have here, if you guys have been following me on my Snapchat, you will know that I actually got scammed on Kijiji with, in regards to my iPhone 7. Um, so six months later, basically the person reported my iPhone that they sold to me as lost or stolen. So my phone was unusable anymore and this happened six months after the fact that I actually bought it, which was in and of itself a kind of stressful situation. I had no choice but to buy a new iPhone, which is what I have here. This is the iPhone 7 in um, the Project Red version, which obviously is this beautiful red color. It's something that I use every single day for my YouTube and my Instagram. I have three items here today to show you guys what I've been wearing from day to day, and they are pretty basic items. The first one is just this gray t-shirt. Um, I know this is kind of a boring pick, but I'm always on the hunt for a really good basic tee and the Gap makes an amazing one. This is such a soft fabric, it's just a cotton t-shirt, Gap goes on sale all the time so you can definitely get this at a really, really affordable price. Um, I love grey tees and I just think that they look good with everything so that is definitely one of my faves. Next thing I have here actually came into my possession unexpectedly. It is my Club Monaco crew neck. I actually um, inherited this from a friend of mine. It actually didn't fit them so it ended up being mine. Um, it, it's funny because my friend's boyfriend, that was his original shirt, so it's just been passed down um, to me. So basically, I just love this. Thanks Lenny for giving this to me. I've been looking for something like this for a really long time, and I haven't been able to find a vintage Club Monaco sweater, so I'm really glad that I have one now. So you may have seen this in the beginning of my bikini video, as well as some of my travel videos. So I just think a basic crew neck is such a go-to piece. Um, and it's just my basic when it gets a little bit chillier. It's still kind of cold-ish in Toronto, so it's something that I'll definitely be wearing with shorts or a pair of like joggers or something. The next thing that you may have seen a ton in my How I Style videos is this denim jacket from Fashion Nova. I love, love, love this jacket. I just love that it's um, a little bit more interesting than your regular jean jacket. I think it fits super, super well. Um, I really like the star pattern on it. I think it's really fun and definitely something that's a little bit more unexpected from a basic like this. And I'm surprised how many different ways I've been able to wear this jacket. I think that it's just a very, very fun piece. The only thing that I try to stray away from is looking to like 4th of July, um, Independence Day. If you wear this with like any type of red or even this, it's starting to look a little bit 4th of July theme so I tried to stray away from that and wear this with more like blacks and grays and even baby pink I think is really pretty. I've definitely gotten my wear out of it and I think a denim jacket is just such a great staple for the spring and summer and having something with a pattern is definitely a way to jazz it up. So the next piece that I have here I did a whole dedicated video on and it is my Jack Purcell white sneakers. You would have seen these in my white sneakers video, my travel video. Um, the reason why I got these pretty much is because I saw Selena Gomez wearing them and I loved the way she styled them and I just wanted a different kind of white converse. You will know that I wear white converse in my style videos all the time and I just want something a little bit different. So this is definitely the kind of pair that I would recommend if you are kind of over the basic white converse and you want something um, new and fresh. These Jack Purcells are just a really pretty vintage looking classic that looks good with um, a dress, it looks good with a pair of shorts, a pair of jeans. Um, it, they really just look good with everything. Um, I'll link that video down below if you guys want to check out how I styled them. Super, super cute and you can't go wrong with a pair of white sneakers. If you guys have been keeping up with me on my Instagram, you'll know that I went to Hawaii recently and I actually picked up my first pair of Adidas NMDs. NMDs are really, really hyped up in Toronto and pretty much sold out everywhere. It's very, very hard to get a pair. 
I'm sure if you've heard about people talk about NMDs in Toronto, like you can't just go into a Foot Locker and ask for a pair of NMDs or a pair of Ultra Boosts. It's kind of more difficult to get. But in Hawaii, they were super, super easy to pick up. So I definitely had to cop a pair myself. I'm not sure what style this is, but I'll try to link them in the description box below. I really love the pink stripe on the back and then the army green on the front. I actually don't currently own a pair of darker running shoes and I've been on the search for a pair. I'm more than happy to add these to my collection. They are really, really pretty um, with a pair of pink joggers or even a pair of denim. I just think that they're very, very cute and they're also really comfortable. So if you can get your hands on these and they're not as hyped up where you live, I highly recommend getting a pair. Um, they're a little bit on the flatter side. I don't see myself really working out in them, but they're definitely good for every day. So I have two pairs of glasses here and if you know me, I'm pretty big on accessories. I really believe that even if you really, even if you need glasses to see, it's nice to have a nice pair just to add to your outfit. So this is the current prescription pair that I have, and it is this pair by Bailey Nelson. I will link the style in the description box below, but Bailey Nelson sells really great glasses um, at a really, really affordable cost. Um, I believe it was $145 total with the lenses and everything, so that was very, very, very affordable in terms of eyewear. I really like these. Um, they're a little bit round and... A, like they're round, kind of vintage inspired, and just a little bit different than that classic um, square Ray-Ban shape. So I really like these and I think they add to any outfit that I'm wearing, even if it's a little bit more casual, it just makes my outfit look a little bit more interesting. And then the second pair that I want to show you is this pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. I got these at LF Optical in Toronto at their Thornhill location. They are really, really cute. So you see the round pair a lot on like Instagram and I'm sure you probably have friends that have them, but this is actually the hexagonal pair. So they are slightly angular on the sides here and I really like this style. I think it's just a little bit more interesting than the basic round pair that you'll be seeing very often. I definitely got my cost per wear out of them. I think they're really, really cute and they absolutely go with everything. Like they even go with this look right now. I wore these all the time in Hawaii and they are just, I think they're really fun and go with absolutely everything. The next thing I want to show you guys is the necklaces that I am wearing. I get asked time and time again where this necklace is from. This is actually a necklace that my sister got me for my birthday last year from Jenny and Jude. It's an Etsy shop. I that this necklace really has been roughing it through the entire year with me. Um, I've worn this to Costa Rica backpacking. I wore it all throughout Hawaii, even in the ocean. I wear it in the shower. I pretty much never take it off. And the gold on it still stays really shiny and the horn looks just as good as new. Um, I think it's really really sweet and I love um, this necklace I think it's really cute and what I like to layer with it is actually this thin delicate gold choker my friend Arielle made me um, but I love the layered gold necklace look I think gold really suits my skin tone as well which is why I tend to wear it over silver but yeah if you guys are ever wondering about this necklace it's from Jenny and Jude and I'll try to link it in most of my videos from now on because I get so many questions about it <laughs> And then the last spring favorite I want to show you guys is the most expensive thing out of everything I've shown here so far. I definitely say that this is an investment piece. I saved my money for it and it was kind of a graduation present to myself. So it is my Gucci Marmont bag. Um, it's the mini one, I believe. I will also link it in the description box below. You will have seen this in a lot of my How I Style videos. I had it for maybe two months now and it pretty much looks as good as new. I take very, very good care of it. Um, I love the gold detailing, it's a little bit antique. It's a very, very cute bag that you can pretty much wear with everything, just like everything else here. Um, I wear this casually, I wear this dressy, I just really love this purse. Um, it doesn't carry much, but it carries what I need, which is really great. And the only thing is, because it is a soft leather, you have to be a little bit more careful with it. I kind of freak out if I'm wearing anything that has metal on it, like a metal belt or something like that, because I really don't want it to scratch. But it's just very, very cute. I can do a full review on this if you would be interested in something like that. I don't know how you guys feel about luxury items on my channel, which is why I haven't really talked about them. But I can definitely do something like that if you'd like me to. But yeah, I just, I just really like this purse. It's my only designer bag 
as of right now and I just love it. That is the end of my current fashion favorites video for May and the rest of the spring I guess but if you guys enjoyed this type of video and want me to continue this series definitely give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see like my beauty favorites or just like lifestyle favorites I could definitely write a blog post or do another video on that so just make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Thank you again guys so so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys!